Hello, hello everybody! Today we are going to be forming the strongest Germany possible in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, wait a minute. What is this menu screen? I guess we're not playing Hearts of Iron 4 today. I've already formed the strongest Germany possible on this channel in Hearts of Iron 4. <coughs> you should <coughs> definitely check that out. <coughs> Sorry, this, um, you know, the plague's been going on for the past three years. If you've not already guessed it by now, we are going to be playing Prussia in Victoria 3. I'm never gonna touch that game, don't worry. Victoria 2? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I completely forgot what to do. I wasn't even... Hold up. Time out. Time out. I guess that is still a thing. For the mega campaign, I had to adjust the base Victoria files. I'm not even using any mods right now. I mean... I am using mods. Apart from HPM and graphical mods, we are not playing anything special. We do have 70% readability. No, we don't need positivism, but we do need medicine. Then I started promoting some Savior Renegade Angels fans. I also switched my party to the Light Gamers since they have jingoism, state capitalism, and most importantly, they are not some stupid damn lips. All things I want. I can build factories and I can tax people. It's great. I do hope that I don't have any weird decisions in the game. The decisions that I have should be related to the mod. Mega campaign mod. Which, have I mentioned? Yeah, that this thing happened in the mega campaign. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna tell you to watch it. I've already done it once. But I also have done a mega campaign if you want to. <laughs> yep, we will take the British. So, let's start justifying for Schleswig. Schleswig Holstein. Then we can sink our navy. Don't really care about it. Spheres of influence. Ugh. This is honestly the one thing I don't like about playing Prussia. Since I'm playing HPM, forming Germany is a bit more complicated than in base Wiki 2. You'll need to research nationalism and imperialism first, which is an 1850 tech, so you'll have to worry about spheres a little longer. The Austrians should give up with their German ambitions relatively soon though, since they have to tend to hungry matters. Saxony, I need Saxony for North Germany. N North, North Germany, Germany with Nerf guns. Neuchatel, Neuchatel, as a Swiss person would say. That's one of our cores that the Swiss will just annex, so don't need to give a shit about that. Ah, everyone just wants a few random pieces of my sphere. Let's just keep tariffs high for now. Early on tariffs are fine, but you should still keep them as low as possible and especially later on try to steer away from using them. It makes it harder for your people to buy goods, which means your capitalists can build fewer factories and at a smaller profit. Are you seriously expecting me to go over there? I don't even have a single boat. But sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> We just joined their war, we're still allied, and we peaced out. One thing I found out the other day, this si this weird symbol, that just means that artillery is in these divisions. So Sicily is also... Yo, I'm just gonna form Italy. <laughs> That's very cool, because I do have ambitions. These ambitions are to the south. Both of them. Both eaters. Let's declare war on Denmark. Burp. Yay! Oh my god. I already don't like this. We're taking damage. Okay. That's it. I could make fun of the six hour war, but this was even faster than that one. Switzerland would also be like, would also, yo, everybody likes me. And I don't even have Bismarck yet. Queen Victoria, which means Hannover is no longer part of the British Theatre. After medicine, I immediately went for railroads. I would like both. But I mean, this would be insane, the coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Dutch West Java. Boop, 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 boop. We've got Prussian West Java and immediately our top exported good is coffee fifi. Our economy is booming. Add to sphere. Fun with railroads. I don't have money anymore. Good for me. What do you want? Brazilian liberation of Paraguay and Mato Grosso. I guess it's the flag. They, they called me in because of the flag. It's nothing personal. A tradition at this point. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get any stronger, so... Let's just take Saxony from them. And everybody except for the two Sicilies is down. And I think I've already lost Sardinia. To war with Austria we go. Time for a little bit of Bruderkrieg. Everyone attack! 
Oh god, that's bad. No, I'm not gonna white piece you. Okay, let's scurry back with our troops. Let them regenerate. Okay, we are entrenched here. That's beneficial to us. That is not, but we should win both of these battles. Yep, just gotta fight battles that I can win. I get these troops here, get these troops here, and then once they retreat, we should get them. I'm gonna retreat with them. Whoa, what the fuck? We're taking so much unnecessary damage, we can start promoting soldiers. Would be cool in Prussian West Java. Downside is I'd have to ship the soldiers over. <laughs> It's been a while since I've played Vicky, but I'm just getting punched by the Austrians right now. I feel like I'm taking way too much damage when I shouldn't be. Oh, thank you, UK. That I definitely needed you down here. Uh, you don't have any. You have one. Yeah, nope. I'm gonna decline that. That's just free war squad. It would, would give up. 30,000 Austrians for 5,000. Russians. If you're scared of playing Wiki 2, don't worry. Even though the AI could totally crush you and made you lose half your army, they will still peace out if you ask them kindly enough. I want to add something. Ah, whatever. Let's just take Saxony. We have all of North Germany. Come on. You know I would join. And then they peaced out before my armies were even in Denmark. Wait a minute, I just realized I need to be ready for 1850. <laughs> because we're gonna form North Germany, then we're gonna go to war with France. And after that, we will immediately go to war. Actually, not immediately, but we should also go to war with Austria afterwards. Once again, we do have infamy left over. Honestly, I'm gonna do it again. Oh! <laughs> This is perfect. I might be a bad general this game, but I sure am a lucky leader. Oh, okay, kind of, if I'm not being detected immediately. Yes, okay, this is great. Healthcare. Why is healthcare good? Healthcare gives pop growth. Pops are very good in wiki. Railroads. Fuck, I did it on the wrong Rhineland. I did it on Prussian Rhineland, not Eastern Rhineland, which is both owned by Prussia. Hold up. Why is the option so misplaced? Shouldn't it be a bo Whatever. And I'm gonna keep this on subsidies. The guns are just important to have. The rest, I'm just gonna say, nope, I don't care. Yeah, it's just the guns. We actually do need the guns if we're at war. I have got to be one of the smartest leaders that has ever lived. I know that my soldiers need weapons. But it's true. The only thing you should subsidize in Wiki are the equipment your army needs. Everything else can be subsidized for a short duration, just not for the entire game. Are you serious? We don't have wood. How do you run out of wood? It literally grows on trees. And my beautiful Reichs swarm, my wassels, wa 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 wassel, wassel swarm, is just taking care of the annoying part. Oh god, they attacked me. I did not see this coming at all. What the fuck just happened? I assume this is the sort of thing you have Java, you can expand Java. I've never seen that. They probably don't even know how to read. They're an uncivilized nation, right? Oh, they're primitive. <laughs> you have four attack and three defense. Moltke. Whew. The fun part about playing Victoria 2. Railroads. Or building armies. I really hope OpenWiki 2 does work out and they add some quality of life stuff. Though I am a bit cautious. Should be easy. Yep, we don't need chips. I think for now I can stop with promoting soldier boys. And we can go promote clerks. Oh my, what the fuck? Oh, there's so many Jacobins here. Right, lower healthcare, let's go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna worry about France right now. 100,000! While there's another 200,000 over here. Can I just say, without spoiling anything about One Piece, the name of that island is so genius. No! No! Why is this a thing? We could puppet Denmark. Nope, part of the US sphere. Besser claim in Neuchatel. It's, it just doesn't sound German. 
20, yep, 25 infamy. That's the thing, like, we can take it, but we get 25 infamy, everyone starts hating us. Or we can just let them be annexed by Switzerland. But let's do one thing everyone's been waiting for and jump to second great power. Oh, the map is looking so much nicer now. Oh, but I can build a lot of divisions. Oh my god, a whole three Jacobins have risen up. We can also start a war of unification on the Frenchies. Uh, what about our Jingo? Ah, oh, 6.7 Jingo. Yes, by Jingo. Württemberg wants to be my friend. Yes, you're smelling what I'm cooking. I know it already. We got Bavaria now. That is so big. Bavaria is one of the strongest German miners. The only thing we need now for our infinity gauntlet is Württemberg, uh, Baden. Oh god, I just... That was a close one. I have no idea what I'm gonna do about Russia. Straight up 100. 100. I have no plan whatsoever. And once again, because I was just rambling on, if you own Luxembourg when you form Germany, if you have Luxembourg in your sphere, you will also get a core on Luxembourg. I am a bit, I don't want to say disappointed, confused. Why is there no event to get Bismarck and then let France declare war on you? That seems like such a paradox thing to do. Give you some stupid historical decision that makes no sense in a game to just break up alliances without any real... Yes, I'm still pissed about that one time I spent 20 hours forming a decentralized HRE for the Mulhouse achievement in EU4, turned everyone into reformed and then we couldn't declare a religious war because only the Protestant League is allowed to do so and the only Catholic nation in the HRE was the Emperor Austria. And it makes no sense that there is no religious turmoil even though the only Catholic nation is the Emperor Austria and everyone else is reformed and only the Protestants are allowed to start this war even though the only Protestants this game were in Ireland and since I was a Republic I could not become the Emperor and after we won the war some Irish guy became the Emperor since they were the only valid Protestant target and then when I tried fixing this by erasing them from the map after switching to a monarchy and Protestantism the HRE just stopped existing because there were no electors and not a single person gave a shit in this timeline that the HRE just randomly passed to an Irish guy who didn't give a shit about the HRE itself and likely just declined the event to also allow reformed Catholics to become emperor and when they were annexed everyone just went home and they forgot the HRE ever existed. <sighs> you know, I really had to get this off my chest. 80,000 French people. But I will also send these troops back. They are drained. <laughs> That's it. The war is over. <laughs> Let's just do this. Boom. Free hurrahs for Germany. Oh, I need to give up. <laughs> this is the third justification that was immediately, immediately found out. What is going on in this game, man? Whoever's my leader right now is just blabbing the entire time. Polish uprising. Oh, we could ally them. What is, what is the troop count? Two versus 85. Uh, I'm just gonna condemn actions. What? I didn't even do anything to you. The past hour I spent trying to make Großdeutschland, aka Super Germany, work in HPM. But it looks like it's incredibly hard to do so, since Austria will form Austria-Hungary as soon as they can. And after they do, you can't take the Austrian land with you. I tried various things, but the only thing you can probably do is keep Austria a secondary power before 1850 and then form Germany before they can become a great power, since they'll probably need to be GP to form Austria-Hungary. Either way, definitely not worth it as Prussia in HPM, vanilla, different story. But <laughs> there is another path to German unification, as you might already assume. And I'll go there in another video. Oh. Don't you worry. Bit of a shame that this failed, this project, but it's just allowing me to milk this for more content. <laughs> Grind never quit. Important, I need to juggle here. Juggle these nuts. Free hurrahs for Germany. No, I can't even choose my own party. What is this? This weird 
communism. I guess I'll have to beat up France instead. I do have something to do with my influence power. Why did I forget about this? This is Africa, why did I forget about it? That's what you do in Victoria. You scramble for it. It never works out to find the Nile. Honestly, I don't think they are searching for the Nile. That's just someone who is like, yeah, we're gonna find the Nile for you. Just give us a little bit of money and then we can run around, find it, you know? But just fuck off with my money, I know it. And yet, every single time I fall for it. Fool me once, I can get fooled again. Can I get a protectorate on you? That would be pretty cool. This game, man. Why would I want to ally Greece? They just want my money. I already know it. I'm Germany, man. The first time I played the game and I got the event that someone bankrupted, I was playing Germany and it was Greece that bankrupted. I legitimately thought it was a scripted event. Oh no, I didn't even see that they were allied to Aro, whatever that is. I could ally the Belgians. And you know what? That's gonna be useful for some of my plans that I have later. Sokoto, which I will start sphering. We should have, yep, 50% neighboring nation bonus. Ooh, champagne would be cool. All of my allies would join, yay. I want to know how many, I want to know how many people are in there though. But if I'm... Can I intimidate? I can intimidate, yes. A 82k for flirting. So we could take champagne, or we could only take champagne. Okay, then. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Railroads. Are you serious? You haven't built railroads here. Even here in Africa were railroads, and I didn't build railroads here. And you've only built one railroad. <laughs> no wonder I could beat France this easily. Wait, what? I just read so called Conquest of Queer Outland. Switzerland wants... <laughs> I was about to say, that doesn't really seem neutral to ally with someone. And then they immediately broke the alliance. Ah, uh, obviously, yes, this is a different shade of green, I can see it. Just doesn't help when you're looking simply for green. Wait, what? What? Why did I have divisions there? Oh, yeah, Russia. Don't worry. You will soon have military access. Switzerland wants to be my friend again, and they immediately declined. Okay, Switzerland. No, you've tried it twice already. I fooled me once. Shame. Wait, no, I already made a joke and post. What about your industry? Can I take anything that's interesting? It's really not useful to declare on war on the Russians. Sure, just give me my Sovia, man. What is going on with my game? This France looks so stupid. Oh, number 10 great power. Yes, Lake Wilhelm, Lake Bismarck, Lake von Moltke, Lake Germania, Lake Berlin. Of course, there is only one name we can name it. It is Lake Wilhelm. Sokoto will not accept. I don't care about you, Sokoto. Oh, let's march into Paris, I guess. Paris, the city of Germans. They want to release Brittany! Yo, the, Prussian, uh, the Russians are here to stop me from sieging out France. <laughs> This France is not gonna come back. Morocco would like to be my... Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna stop here though. This was not the strongest Germany, 